KCRH 89.9 FM, KCRH Radio.com, and then make some crew live in the studio right now, DJ Tussie. I'm here. Hi. What's happening, boy? Nothing much, man. Chillin', man. How was your weekend? Uh, the weekend was great. That's what's up. It was, uh, we had a very, very productive weekend. It was very long and, and full of a lot of dark alcohol. Wow. Lots of it. I had no alcohol this whole entire weekend. Bro, you're so lucky. I had to, I, I caught lucky? up, I caught up today. That's what's up. That's cool. Yeah, I caught up. At least I you're here. Up. At least you made it to the weekend. I think we did. Alcohol. We did about four hours of sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I had the crew with me. I wish I could be with y'all. Nate, you know, four I'll hours of sleep. I think total invite. throughout the whole weekend. Yeah. Back to back shows. I'll never get an invite, bro. Uh, I think I did invite you. Probably. Yes, I did. Yeah. I wasn't feeling one this week. I was actually sick. It's all good. It's all right. Uh, we do have a special guest in the studio with us today. Do me a favor and go ahead and introduce yourself to the East Bay. What's up, East Bay? It's your girl, Jane Hancock. I'm happy to be here. So happy to be here. For sure, for sure. Thank you for coming through. Let the people know exactly what you do, in case you're not already familiar. Yes, yes. I'm a singer, songwriter. I've been writing professionally, I'll say, for about four years. Mm -hmm. um, been singing since forever. Um, I've worked with... I work with Adrian Marcel. I work with Kelly Rowland, Kiki Palmer, okay. Big Crit. Um, my mentor, I work under Raphael Sadiq. Dope. Um, and I'm just grinding. For I'm sure. from the Bay. I, I was born and raised here. Born in Oakland, raised in Richmond, and I'm taking the industry full force. Now, what are some of the songs that you that you wrote that we might be familiar with already? Um, well, I vocal produced and wrote 2 a.m. Okay. You guys know 2 a.m. by Adrian Marcel. Um, I wrote on Big Crit's last album, um, Soul Food. Okay. With Raphael Sadiq, I wrote on Kelly Rowland's latest album. She um, put out an album, Talk That Talk. Mm-hmm. And I wrote This Is Love. So that's what's up. That's dope. Catalog. And then, wrote, Catalog. and then just worked with a lot of people. Worked with Justice League. A lot of songs that haven't even been out, but just um, you know, being able to work with them and be in the same room as Teddy Riley, those type of people, just learning a lot from them. That's dope. So how long have you been like involved in music? How long has music been a part of your life? Um, I've 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 been singing, you know, since forever, but I um Really, I took it serious when I went to Oakland School for the Arts. That's dope. Um, and that's when I met Adrian Marcel there. I met Kaylani. Mm -hmm. Just a, a bunch of people that are really, like, doing some hot things for in sure, the industry. For sure, absolutely. Um, at OSA. And I think that's when we all, I seen us all take it seriously. So um, from then on, I was doing shows. I was singing at, like, senators' houses and stuff like that. All How does OSA find all these stuff. students? I don't know. I literally, um, my mom seen it on like a billboard. It used to be like a huge billboard yeah, in Oakland. Yeah, for sure. So that's when she saw it and she was like, yo, I got to get you out of public school because you're going to drown. Mm -hmm. I, I was definitely a weirdo, an artsy kid. Yeah. So that was like the perfect environment for me. That's dope. That's dope. Let yeah. the people know where they can follow you out online so they can, you know, in case they're not, they don't know your work or anything like that, they can get familiar with you. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, I'm active on there at Miss Jane Hancock, M S J A N E H A N D C O C K. You can follow me on Instagram um, at Hancock J H A N D C O C K J A Y. And I'm pretty active on there. I always post links, um, articles, write ups, pictures, videos, everything is on there. So you can definitely follow what I do on there. Who are some of your your musical inspirations? Like, who are some of the people that touch you that you know that probably, you know, made you the type of artist writer you are today? Um, so many Stevie For Wonder, sure. um, Missy Elliott, um, just so many Kelly Rowland, Destiny's Child, mm -hmm. Pharrell. I love Pharrell. I love Timbaland. I love those type of people who really have innovated the sound Elton John those type of people who are just very innovative in sound and getting people on their wave so that's I love that's so awesome. many though that's awesome those are some dope artists definitely now, we got some music sitting in front of me what track you want to jump into first and um, we can get into reality okay reality do me a Real favor smooth. and introduce it to the East Bay so this is my track reality on my project that is out right now truth be told get it right now on SoundCloud iTunes reality let's get now for my next number. Just one look. Fine. When I feel you're in 
KCR is 89.9 FM. That was reality right there. And he's made his best variety. is 89.9 FM. DJ Tessie. Yeah, man. That was a slap. That I like slap. that. You like it? Yeah, that was, that was sexy. For sure. I appreciate it. For real. Tessie's feeling it. I'm feeling it too. Definitely. Who's your, who's your favorite artist right now? Like, who's the person, like, if... If we were to go steal your car right now, right, and we were to jump in there, like who's who's connected to the iPod, who's on the auxiliary, or who's what's the CD that's in your car right now? Um, it just depends on what mood, like what genre, mm-hmm. like. Uh, let's say let's say R and B, like sing, okay. yeah. Singing, um, Jasmine Sullivan. I For love sure. Jasmine Sullivan. Her voice is amazing to me. But I love my trap side. I'm very much. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> I'm like so fake hood when it comes to like the trap side. Like sure. I, um, I lived in Atlanta for like four years, mm-hmm. so I'm just honestly now coming back home. So for the past four years, my my whole vibe has like been on the trap. So sure. I love trap music. So you got to put um, me up on game uh, for real. I, I definitely can. I might have to go steal your car now. <laughs> <laughs> future, I love future, but I like old future. I'm still slapping like L O V E E. Now, what's the difference between the music scene out here in the Bay and what you've been dealing with out in Atlanta? Um, it's pretty similar. Mm-hmm. It's pretty similar. Um, the Bay and LA, I love them both because they're very independent markets. So okay. it's like in Atlanta, there are a lot of people in Atlanta that like show their people love. Like they have artists in Atlanta that are totally popping that are like moving mean out there and just around there Mm -hmm. and they're doing their thing same with out here it's a lot of bay area artists that are doing their own thing making their own path paving their own way and you know people are showing them love out here so i like both vibes they're very different but they're dope for sure, for sure. Now, uh, how do you feel about the success of like you said you work with Adrian Marcel? Yeah. And the track Two AM, it went, it went crazy. Yeah. Like how, like how did that make gold. you feel? Like when you know when that track just took off the way it did. Um, just proud. Adrian is my best friend, so that's like literally my brother from another mother. Um, so just as a friend, the friend of me was like, oh my god, and you know, as well as just the songwriter mm-hmm. on the music side, of, I'm just proud of him. I'm proud of him because I know how, how hard he's worked and um, what we had to go through and just the story behind 2 a.m. So, sure. so, now what are some of what are some of the struggles like with the music? Like everyone goes through different struggles within the music business, but yeah. what are some of the stuff that you that you've had to deal with personally? If you you don't have to get too personal, but oh, yeah. what are some of the stuff that you've had to deal with and what kind of advice do you give to you know young songwriters? Because a lot of the people that listen to this show are you know younger artists and uh right. the younger generation everything like that so like 
what would you say to you know your 15 year old self that's trying to get into music and is trying to get into the business and what type of advice would you have for them what things do they have to like avoid and what stuff to go after and different things like that um one thing i just say is to focus on your path mm -hmm. focus on your journey and um really love this really love this if, if, if this is what you want to do really love it because it's um, not promised to everybody. It's not made for everybody. So you have to be a strong person to get in this. Mm -hmm. um, so my advice would just be to love it, love it, love it. Don't do it for the fame. Don't do it for the money. Do it because you really love this. And everything else is going to come. That's and that's up. what I've honestly seen as I've grown and seen a lot of things. I've been in so many rooms. I'm finally seeing my path and my paper unfold. So, you know, just love it. Go for out sure. there and, and don't change for nobody. Absolutely. If you believe in something, if you believe in yourself, believe in it and go 100%. Now, we do have a couple more tracks over here. Which one would you like to jump into next? Definitely. We could go into Kiss Me. Okay. This is Earth the Jerk? Yeah. He's literally one of my favorite rappers. Mm -hmm. So, it was just dope coming back and, you know, having him bless it. So, Kiss right. Me. Let's play as Kiss Me right here featuring Earth the Jerk on KCRH. Yeah. KCRH 89.9 FM, KCRHradio.com. It's called Kiss Me featuring Earth the Jerk right there. And before 
before we keep going, like you told me right when the song started that uh, Adrian Marcel has something to do with that beat, right? Yes, Adrian Marcel is um, one of the executive producers on the project. Mm -hmm. He um, produced half of the project musically just going in. So a lot of it was me and him sitting down and just locking in like we did for seven days of week, his mm -hmm. project, and week after next, and week after next Reloaded. So. For sure. Now talk to the people about the project. Let them know where they can get it. Let them know how they can get their hands on it. You can get it on SoundCloud, um, stream it on SoundCloud. If you have Spotify, Apple Music, anything, you can stream it on there. You can buy it on iTunes. Um, just type in Jane Hancock, Truth Be Told, Google it, mm -hmm. it'll come right up. For sure. I feel like I hijacked the interview and haven't let DJ Tussie say anything. No, it's all good. You good? I'm straight. You chilling? I'm enjoying it. Anything you want to say? No, I love the music. For Thank sure. Yeah. I appreciate it. That's yeah, we were just show. talking right before the song ended that... Uh, uh, we're going to get some clean versions so we can hear that turn up music. Uh-huh. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I, I, oh, you got some turn up music, two, huh? Yeah, I definitely have two sides to me. You know, um, I can definitely be soft and sweet and sensual and everything, but I love my trap. So I do that well. I rap. I sing. That I do a lot. So. I think, but this is good, though. I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank really. you. Really. I love and it. And on the project, you'll hear a lot of diversity. I have stuff where you can chill, roll down the window, cruise to, stuff mm -hmm. that you can literally turn up to. So, yeah. I know it's with, like, the beats you have. It sounds, you got a lot of an old school feel to it, a lot of samples, a lot of music from, the, from like, what's your favorite generation of music? Because um, me, me, I'm like a 90s R&B person. Uh, I love it. You feel I, me? It's honestly between 70s and 90s. Okay. So I'm like big on the soul music in 70s. Mm -hmm. And then I love the 90s culture. For sure. Like I love that, that whole, I love the look, the feel, all of that. So those two are really meshed. And um, yeah, just a little bit of like the new. I just like to stick to my sound. And I feel like when you really master you mm -hmm. and you'll you'll survive in like whatever era, you'll, sur you'll surpass the expectation and everything because the music is timeless and you know so I try to really focus on that but I love to do everything mm -hmm. I love to do literally everything so For sure. that's dope now if there was an artist or a couple of artists that either you can write a song for that you can do a song with collaborate with in any yeah. type of way who are some of those people and why Mm, Beyonce for sure <laughs> everybody loves yeah. Beyonce <laughs> yeah you gotta love Beyonce um, I would love to collaborate with Pharrell. Mm -hmm. I think we'd make some hot stuff. Lady Gaga. For sure. Um, and CeeLo. Okay. Those are like the mm. top. And I'm going to just throw Erica Badu in there. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I, love, that's, I, I think that's Erica. one of the people I was waiting for you to say, Erica I Badu. Love, like, she is really on the top of the... She's just one of the dopest artists to me across the board multi-talented just everything and she's hella chill and cool mm -hmm. from yeah. what i see so for sure that's what's up now we got so long sitting right here definitely now tell the people a little bit about that like a backstory behind the track who made the beat what is it about so um i worked with donnie trumpet and the social experiment mm -hmm. um they work a lot with um chance the rapper okay so we got into the studio it was actually a session with adrian mm -hmm. and um you know, we just vibe. They're the type of people that just want to vibe and chill. And we just started playing each other's, you know, each other tunes and just kind of collab like that. And um, this song is just about missing somebody and knowing, well, maybe I didn't do everything that I should have done. Mm -hmm. But let's just not act like we don't miss each other. Okay. You know, literally acting like you don't see somebody when you were so close to them at one point. So that's basically what that's about. All right, it's so long right here on KCRH. You got 
KCRH 89.9 FM, KCRH Radio.com. That's so long right there by Jane Hancock. She's inside the studio right now with us. Yes, yes. Right here on KCRH Radio. Yeah, yeah. Now, let the people know again where they can get the project, how they can download it, how they can get in contact with you. Pretty much throw out all your info for them one more time. Again, my name is Jane Hancock. You can download my new project, Truth Be Told, on iTunes, you can stream it on Apple Music, Spotify. You can stream it for free on SoundCloud. You can follow me on Twitter at Miss Jane Hancock, M S Jane Hancock. You can follow me on Instagram at Hancock J, J with the J A Y, and your girl's right there. Yeah. That's what's up. That's dope. Thank you for coming through. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for sharing and, you, you know, your music with us, sharing your story. We really appreciate it. Definitely, definitely. I appreciate you guys. For, for sure. We definitely want to bring you back, you know, whenever you're ready to come back and come out and hang with us again. Definitely. I'm going to have some more stuff cooking within the next few months. Because so. Tessie wants to turn up music. So... <laughs> Actually, I like this. Okay, for sure. But he, you know, I've, you know, I've been all of my feelings lately. You know, what oh yeah? yeah, you all right, bro? I need something to listen to. You know, saying late at night. You good? Yeah, I'm. Sorry. I'm just making sure. You know, I gotta ask. You know, I gotta just make sure you're good, well, bro. Look. If you guys can check the turn up music out on the project, I know you can't air it. But yeah, check yeah, it for out. sure. I'm gonna definitely be having a um, single out soon. So that's what's up. Go on my Twitter. I'm about to put the link up right now to her SoundCloud with Thank the project. So truth be told. And then the mixtape link just got uh, tweeted on KCRH 89.9 FM on Twitter, so you guys can go there too. You guys can check it out if uh, you uh, missed the link or anything like that. Also. Uh, several times we retweeted her, so you guys can go there, follow her. Yes, yes. You know, stay in contact, stay tuned, see what's going on, see what's new. Yes, yes, I'm fine. Any I'm last words for the East Bay? Anything you want to leave them with? Man, I just always got love for where I came from. I love my home. I always will, and we're going to get it rocking. I'm going to represent sure. it well. That's what's up. Definitely. OSA, huh? Yeah. The school I probably should have went to. Man, we man, we would have had fun too. Yeah, we would have had fun. You would have probably got in trouble with our group. Yeah, Adrian probably. Adrian and me, we were bad. For real? <laughs> What's the worst thing you guys did at school? <laughs> <laughs> like we cannot say it on the radio. <laughs> um, we were just very outspoken. It, I, we reminded me of Sister Act Two. Like, oh okay. I was definitely Lauren Hill. I was the. <laughs> I'm leaving class. Y'all coming? And nobody yeah. got up. <laughs> but like how can you how can you cut from a school like that? Like is it like in one centralized location right there in We downtown? were just so liberal, you know. We were we when we went there we were very, very liberal. Okay. Very liberal. So we were, you know, we you know, we were something else. Okay. We were talented. Very talented. For sure. <laughs> uh what song do you want me to lead the people with? Um, you can go in with We can go in with um, Tell Me. Okay, Tell Me. Do I have Tell Me over here? Uh, No. I don't have Tell Me over here. No. <laughs> Damn. I, love the drive. I got the three songs. I got Reality So Long and Kiss Me. We'll load the Tell Me up later. Okay, for sure. <laughs> Which song you want to end with right now, though? Reality, Kiss Me, or So Long? 
Let's go back in with reality. I'll For get sure. into that. That's the one I had it yeah. set on, too. Man. I was ready. All right, it's KCRH Radio. <laughs>